Take a breath. Woo. Inhale. Exhale. One more from the belly. Inhale. Exhale. Speaking with a friend earlier about when you start doing yoga, how it shows up everywhere. <laughs> and I need to breathe right now because uh, this has been very emotional for me and I'm really touched by everybody and you guys are blowing me away. Truly inspired words, for sure. Um, yes, my mother uh, went through the journey of breast cancer and survived. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> me and my mom. Um, she had a mastectomy, she went through the whole journey, and she and I are very close, so I felt um, I was going through it very much with her, and really learned a lot, and hearing all of your stories, just incredible, the, the wisdom and the humor and the beauty that comes out of these stories. Um, so I wanted to share a few poems that are related to that journey and uh, also just to the journey of searching and healing. Uh, this first one is called Army Nurse, and I was really just thinking about what it's like when you have a war inside your own body, or you might feel at times that you're at war with parts of yourself. Army Nurse. Because the body is a city too, and I have lived in enemy territory and known shelter bombs, night sweats, and the unstitching of large canopies without knowing the night only wanted to show itself to me bare, like a body. I have measured the grab of air squeezing a bicep, catheters and needles, numbers pacing lower on a metal scale, and have tried to like the smooth inside of a water flask, bones bumping on seats like warning shots. Then, I thought stitches were dotted lines to sign away. I wanted answers, cures. While the very foundations shook, L1, L3, a scar branching like October elm across your empty breast, head clean as a bulb, This is war. There are no shortcuts or medical device to preempt the danger. Learn to love the scars. Survivors braille. White cells, white flags, turn back and peaceful. This is about that moment of of searching. It's called shoes. In church, fancy ones, scuff-free ones, bejeweled, high-heeled ones, teetering to heaven. Bare wood between my fingers, the back of the pew in front of me, as I slip off one shoe, two shoes, sinking in height next to grandma, who is apparently reaching towards God with large hats. <laughs> now, in the meditation hall, socks roll through bones and pressure points, grip release, small prayer prints in deep carpet. Dear God, where do you want me to go? And how should I get there? In motorcycle boots, red high stilettos, bare toes, So I think a lot about how art can help us heal and truly survive, which I've heard a lot of tonight. Uh, this is about um, this is about that for me through poetry. It's called Voice. My tongue was a small branch bent by a young hand folded on itself, mute. That's when poetry began. Little leaves like small ears. 
In silence, the self grows to multitudes and disappears. Earth reacts, the stalk grows thick, roots are long, even the strongest wind is an echo of past disasters. My voice sits on silences, a loud tree rustling dark dirt. Uh, one more that I had to write on the back page of this book. It's kind of recent. Dear you, it's a letter, dear you, your entire body is an envelope for your heart. Write yourself the love letters you never got. Go up the hill and empty your ears of the violence. There are trees and ground to hold them, like your body holds your heart. Read them. Take the time, tuck it close through the slots of your rib bones. Thank you.